What is up back here with another YouTube video and in case you cannot tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my top 5 dream AEW WWE crossover matches. Would love to know what's on your list down in the comments below while you are down there. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Of course you don't have to if you don't want to but it would mean a lot to myself if you did and yeah let's get started with number five. My fifth uh, dream match featuring a person from AEW and person from WWE is Mustafa Ali and Bandito. For myself personally, love Mustafa Ali, really enjoy Bandito, and these two guys outside looking in, their uh, styles are similar enough. I can see working extremely well against each other, with each other, all of that stuff, and yet yeah, one of those things I wish, whether it's in an AEW ring, WWE ring, somewhere on the independence, would love to see it. And in this hypothetical world, it is my number five. Number three on my dream AEW WWE dream matches is uh, Carmelo Hayes versus Swerve Strickland. This one might have happened, uh, whether it was in NXT or before their days within WWE, but their character. Uh, and overall work, I would say, is leaps and bounds better than the arguably short time Swerve Strickland was in uh, de WWE's developmental. And this one, it's more of a, I want to see it because their, again, styles clash very, very well. And their personalities or their gimmicks, whatever you would want to call it, uh, work pretty well together, I would assume. Number three, some people have talked about, not as much as what people talked about in this hypothetical world, as number one and two, but it's uh, AJ Styles versus Jay White. And for myself, personally, uh, AJ Styles, I liked him more years ago, but then again, the uh, wrestling world, uh, the more you're in it, the longer uh, it affects your body kind of deal. So I don't really knock AJ for that. But him versus Jay White, two former leaders of the Bullet Club and the match. Maybe not as great as other ones, or potentially as great as other ones on uh, this list. But I still would love to see it. Hopefully it happens one day. Likelihood of it actually happening. Not necessarily the uh, highest. Match coming in at number two is arguably a lot of people's number ones, but it is the Usos versus the Young Bucks, and their careers up until relatively recently has kind of been mirrored of each other, and I mean that in a good way. Like WWE had the Usos, ROH, or New Japan, or uh, AEW has the Young Bucks, very similar if not identical styles in the ring, bell to bell, uh, super kick party round two anybody, uh, and all of that stuff. And for myself personally, even though I'm not necessarily the biggest fans, supporters, marks of the Usos, sign me up to this match yesterday, last week, a month ago, a year ago, maybe not a decade ago. But several years, 20, man, almost a decade, 2014, uh, and whatnot. But Usos versus the Young Bucks is number two. Without a doubt, my number one, and I think a lot of people's number one, is Seth freaking Rollins versus Kenny Omega, the best belt machine. And this is one of those, again, matches I've wanted to see since 2014, 2015 time period. Likelihood of us getting it at all outside of like video games is not necessarily the highest, which kind of bums me out, not gonna lie. But it's still one of those things where I would much rather it be a dream match that never happens than a match that happens and be disappointed in it. But again, it is my number one. Might be biased because one of them is uh, my favorite wrestler. The other one is a fellow Canuck uh, and all of that stuff. But yeah, 
Seth Rollins versus Kenny Omega is easily my number one AEW uh, WWE crossover dream match. So those are my top five dream AEW WWE crossover matches. Would love to know what is on your list down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. More importantly, hope you guys are treating your mental, emotional, and physical health as well as possible the world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up i feel like i'm just lying to myself lying to myself yeah because i just crossed the line like i'm playing offside i do it how i want and i'm gonna do it till i die I feel like i'm just lying to myself but it's